before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello friends welcome to entry i'm your quant educator mirza atisham beg and today i have brought 4th january that means today 4th january sbi po examination as you know that today is the most important day of sbi po aspirants because the first day of the examination has been uh, going on okay is going on and uh, now i have brought first two shifts analysis so let's have a look at the analysis part as you can clearly see quant section is almost predictable look at this in quant section you will see arithmetic section in both the shifts are 11 questions each okay while they have maintained the consistency of asking quadratic equations in the first two shifts so it might be possible that you will not see quadratic equation in the last shift okay but look at the difference the difference is in the first shift they have asked approximation question while in the second shift they skipped that part okay which means first shift can be a bit of a uh, moderate level but the second shift is a bit of easy level okay but sbi po examination does not consider like that okay so you have to think that both the examination will be on moderate level all right look at them the di part was 12 questions and 13 questions but tabular di was tabular di was consistent in that first two shift okay and in the first shift we have seen a mixed di tabular and pi okay while in the second shift we have seen 3 di tabular pi a tabular bar and caslet di so they are focusing on caslet as well so you might see some caslet di in the second and in the third or fourth shift okay while the number series has been skipped in the first shift while in the second shift they have given you six number series question but remember as i have already mentioned in lots of analysis that you will be getting most likely wrong number series okay so wrong number series will be preferable for sbi po aspirants you have to remember okay because it's a po level examination and you need to remember that you will be getting lots of typical questions or you can say lengthy questions or so in which you can get stuck so learn how to approach it in the reasoning part you can see puzzle will be always puzzle was always the favorite topic for examiner and it's almost predictable that they will ask 20 plus questions on puzzle okay whether we are talking about floor based puzzle whether we are talking about a seating arrangement all the things will be there syllogism has been asked consistently consistently so you can expect that you will be getting these two topics in the next two shifts as well inequality has just started so you should know that inequality will be continued from there alpha based system and uh, pairing and number based but blood relation is consistent so you can almost made a predict that puzzle will be there puzzle will be there syllogism will be there inequality will be there and blood relation will be there okay now they have asked direction question in the second shift so it might be possible that you will be getting lots of questions uh, from direction and yes lots of questions from miscellaneous as well so prepare for that okay because sbi po gives you the those question only those question with in which you can get stuck okay so you need to understand the gravity of the situation and try to acclimatize into the situation just learn what we are teaching on the live classes and keep doing the right thing okay here comes the third paper uh, third section and it is english english is a most unpredictable topic okay why you will say that sir rc is predictable yes rc is predictable but look at this in the first shift they have asked eight question while in the second shift they have left to uh, they have uh down to six question so you cannot predict lots of questions look at this in the first shift you have got word swipe no you didn't got but in the second shift you have got look at this in the miscellaneous part you didn't get any miscellaneous part but in the second part second shift you have got it 
वर्ड रीअरेंजमेंट वर्ड रीअरेंजमेंट यू हैव गॉट इन द सेकंड शिफ्ट यस डबल फिलर्स आर द न्यू थिंग यू आर गेटिंग कंसिस्टेंटली इन द एस बी लेवल एग्जामिनेशन ओके यू माइट ऑल्सो गेट फ्रेज एंड ईडियम्स रिप्लेसमेंट सो रिमेंबर वर्ड शॉपिंग विच एवर पार्ट हैज अराइव इन द सेकेंड शिफ्ट must continue for the next shift as well okay because only four shifts will be the change so remember that you will be getting lots of questions on that okay so i hope you all have understood but remember overall attempts overall attempts of the aspirant from the first two first two shifts will be like 63 to 68 okay so it might be possible that your cut off can go beyond 60 but remember the average attempts are like that those who are good made attempts above 70 those who are very good made attempt above 75 so lots of aspirants have done in the range of 63 to 68 but there are not very few who have done 70 plus attempts so remember those who are attempting 70 plus have a good chance of clearing the exa this examination those who are attempting 75 plus might be in dilemma why because either they will get selected or they will perish okay because either they will be confident or overconfident so you should know in which category you belongs to so this is the first two shift or of our examination when we meet in the uh, evening part we will discuss the next two shift or the last two shifts of the today's examination so best of luck for you guys and uh, guys keep subscribe uh, do subscribe this channel and uh, keep watching entry okay till then thank you